Now where were we? I believe we were looking for one more discovery, I think. Number 23, I believe it's up here. It's probably just on the tip of this island here. If I had to guess. Oh, cutscene time. Looks like we've reached value in airspace. So this is where the yellow crystal is hidden, right? Yes, it is sealed somewhere in these lands, along with the yellow gigas. Considering how much trouble we've caused the valuants already, we should be extra careful, right Captain? Captain, what's wrong? Ah, um, nothing. I'm sorry, uh, were you saying something? Nothing really, I... it wasn't really important. Okay. And you have found the lighthouse ruins. Originally an ancient ruin, it was converted into a lighthouse to guide Valuan ships returning from the north. But as the centre of Valuan value culture shifted to the south, the once great lighthouse faded from people's memories. Okay. Hello, ship. Wait, where'd the ship go? Okay. We're in value and airspace, but we're taking them from the other side. Hopefully that won't cause us any trouble. Just two enemies? Piece of cake. Oh, three enemies even. You're done, son. Serves up right. Do, 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 it should be around here somewhere, I believe. Oh, can't see a thing. Oh, many birds. Feel the burn. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, there it is. You have found Ancient Palace. A beautiful old castle that stands near a lake in the central Valua. Local legends of evil wizards and mysterious disappearances were revived when various potions and torture devices were discovered in the dungeons beneath the castle. Oh dear. Um, let's see. Apparently it's a discovery up there. I don't think I can get there just yet. And another one up in this corner.
Actually, I don't even know if I can get to that discovery either. I think it might be on the other side of the wall. Attack Big Bird. Oh. Oh, I'm the wrong element for this. I ain't missed anyway. map real quick. Yeah, boy looks fit. I won't be able to get to it. It's over here. Come back later for that one then. What are you doing, boy? Are you trying to leave Valua? Yeah, aren't we supposed to be looking for the yellow crystal around here? Turn this boat around, Vice. Oh, okay, uh... Just have drifted off course a little bit. Okay, I don't want to go down there. I just, just want to go over there then. To the west! like a pro. Okay, not that one. Thank God. It's delaying the inevitable. Still heading the right way. Yep, keep heading west. Is this it? Did I pass it? I don't see it. Silenced. Fire. 
Dan, you ever played Dark Souls? Uh, I haven't played any of the Dark Souls games, but I've played through Bloodborne. That, that was uh, before I started YouTube and stuff, so I ain't really done any YouTube videos on it. But yeah, Bloodborne was really fun. Oh, gathering strength. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs> I managed to, uh, I think I got all of the uh, trophies on Bloodborne, though I didn't pick up the DLC yet. Again, because I'm pretty skinned. Is it over already? <laughs> oh, Crystalum and Electris. I think I'm missing something. Oh, hello. I don't think I've ever seen a ship like that around here before. I bet it's a moonstone trader coming to dig up yellow moonstones. Just so you know, the moonstones in this area have already been mined, so there's hardly any left. Valuo is trying to expand because we need to find new sources of moonstones as soon as possible. Okay. Is it in here? No. Where are you? Is it here? I'd recommend the DLC, it's pretty good. I mean, it did look good. I saw um, Game Grumps play it a little bit, I think. What was that, Dark Souls 3? Can't remember. Oh, they did both. Oh, there we go. I did miss it, I just have to keep heading east. Where are you? That's not where I'm after. Uh, after. It's got to be somewhere around here. I've got to look for a Stonehenge-esque sort of thing. Should do the job. Oh, there it is! Ah, random battle! Oh, 
serves up right. Ooh, a silvite ring. That's definitely useful. Boosts defense and magic defense, especially s silver magic, and protects against death. Um. No, I think I might give that to Vice. So I don't want him getting instant death. And before we enter there, we should probably heal up. And save. There we go, the Moor of Tartus. Hold on, I think there's a, a cham in here somewhere. Here, yeah, chammy, 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 chammy. Oh. You have found a charm. Oh, that makes him spit out all of the chams. I think I've got some other chams that I haven't used yet. There we go. The cupel sword. That chunk of metal is huge. Beneath it is the Moor of Tartus. It's an entrance to the series of caverns. These caverns are the resting place of the Yellow Crystal as well as the Yellow Gigas. This seal was built by my people after the Reigns of Destruction in order, con order to in order to contain the Yellow Gigas. Now the Yellow Gigas lies dormant. Good. Huh. Keep that thing locked up. Well, I know this means that the Gigas can't get out. But it also means that we can't get in. Hmm. I don't think there's any way to get through that seal. What should we do? Hey, don't move! The punishment for trespassing near the Great Seal is death! Now we'll see about that. All these guys are yellow. Yeah. How dare you guard! Fire! <laughs> Fire! Oh, they're all guarding, apart from that one guy. Over there. Enforca. Enforca. There we go, that did some damage. Counter attack. Don't copy me. Land the burst! Alright, so that leaves uh, Fina and Drachma to attack. I'm guessing Drachma's gonna kill one, but I, I doubt about Fina. Yeah, I thought so. Alright, Drachma. Bitch lap. Ah, uh, you missed. You missed, you missed. Fury! That's fun! Yeah, 
that wasn't too bad. Not exactly a boss battle of sorts. We we surrender. Please don't kill us. Tell us how to open the seal, and we'll let you live. That's impossible. Our entire army couldn't open it. Our commander, our commanders aren't concerned with the yellow crystal right now because it's already in Valua, and it's safe from you. Hmm, that makes sense. They'll go after the other crystals first. Something's not right. You'd think that this area would be more heavily guarded. Where are the rest of your men? They're preparing for the raid on Nazrad. <gasps> what? Valua is going to start a war with Nazar? I... I think so. I'm just a grunt, so I don't know any of the details. And there was a giant arc whale. It destroyed a few of our ships recently. One of our admirals is hunting it. A giant arc whale? <laughs> Raknam is here. Answer me! I, I don't know for certain. Some fog rolled in yesterday and there was sightings of a huge creature. That means it's probably still in the area. I have to go after Raknam. I've been following you kids around looking for the crystals all this time, but now it's your turn to follow me. We understand. We'll go with you. Well, it doesn't look like we, uh, we'll we be able to get the yellow crystal anytime soon. Okay, Drachma. We'll go with you. Very well. Now the time has come for me to finally face Raknam. He was the reason I got the harpoon cannon in the first place. I'm going to kill him or die trying. Well, before we leave for that, I believe there's some more chums around here. I think there's only three. They just make uh, Cupil spit out his moon, well, his uh, chams. Because you can get other chams in this game called Arabic chams, which uh, change his uh, form to like specific types. There's like a, a whole transformation tree for him. So if there's a particular form you want him to take on, you kind of need a charm to make him spit them out and read them. Uh, return to the Little Jack. We'll need to rest up before we attack Raknam. There's always a thick fog surrounding him. He knocks ships out of the sky and they never see him coming. It is time. We'll hide in the canyons and ambush him. At the first sight of fog, tonight we sleep here. Drop anchor, boy. Later that night, my heart was racing with excitement. I was too anxious to get even a wink of sleep. Raknam is nearby. That's all I could think as I lie there, trying to sleep. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any should I. Maybe I'll take a little walk to try and calm myself. Well, let's make sure I'm all healed up. The ship's in nick, in perfect nick. I'm not going to be using a normal battle against him. It's going to be a little jack fight. I think he's all equipped with all of the best gear. Yep. Okay, since we're ready, uh, that's not the way to go. Let's go up on deck. A giant whale boss fight hype. <laughs> uh, rotate the camera, please. Can't look out the window. Can I control the ship? The captain did say that we're spending the night here. I probably shouldn't move the ship without the captain's permission, at least. All right. Captain? Is that you, boy? What are you doing up at this hour? You should be getting some rest. I was about to say the same thing. It's the middle of the night. What? What's that? Hmm.
Open it. It's full of... Feathers. My son collects. He used to collect them. You had a son? Aye, about the same age as you. A long time ago, I ran a fishing boat in North Ocean. My son was learning to be a sailor. He used to come out with us. His name was... Jack. He was a small boy who liked to help out the other sailors. They used to call him Little Jack. One day, we went out fishing as usual. Then Raknam came. We didn't know how powerful Raknam was, and we tried to fight him. But there was no way a fishing boat stood a chance against that thing. Raknam destroyed our ship. I barely managed to survive. But my crew, and Jack, weren't so lucky. Last time I saw Jack, he was clutching some feathers as he fell, like they'd stop him from falling. I can still hear my son scream as he fell. From that day on, I swore vengeance on Raknam. So my crew, now for my crew, and for Jack. I need to kill Raknam to avenge my crew and my son. I'm getting long-winded in my old age. Don't let it bother you. It's my problem. Captain. This fog, could it be? Huh? Boy, go wake up the others. It's him. Raknam is here. Where are you, you son of a bitch? I know you're here somewhere. Oh, I was just a random battle. I thought this was the way. <laughs> God damn it, we're trying to hunt the bloody whale. Get out of here. Use the sound as a base to navigate. That's true. Although I can't really hear the TV. <laughs> I've got the TV turned down so the microphone doesn't pick it up. Stop guarding, you're wasting my time! Ugh. Just die already! Attorney was learnt. I've got my attorney now. Ah, random bowels. I don't have time for random bowels. I need to find the whale. Good. That was easy. When the whale sound is bigger, you're close. Oh, that sounds quite loud. The fog's going away. Ah, random battles.
Not to be a dick, but that's generally how sound works. <laughs> but I think, you know, it's an audio cue in the game. As it gets louder, you're closer to where the whale is. So I don't think you actually see him until the cutscene activates. Ah, oh, thank God you ran away. You know better. Idiot, where do you think you're going? You're heading straight out of Valua. Raknam is somewhere around here. I won't let you ruin my chance to catch him this time. Turn this boat around right now. Okay, okay. Just looking for... No! Stop talking. Rotate. I say he was loudest over here. Ah! Die, birds! <laughs> that was easy! Oh, here we go. What's that sound? It sounds like cannon fire. Boy, dead ahead. Captain, it's him. That's a big whale. Ah! It's it's huge. Hey, look over there. That's if Valio is trying to take out the whale too. Captain, whose ships is that? While we were in Valua, I heard rumours that the Armada altered their chain of command. That must be Ramirez's ship. He was Gaussian's vice-captain. He's the most feared officer in the Armada. Ramirez? Fina, what's wrong? Nothing. Everything's fine. We can't fight them both at the same time. Captain, what should we do? Take out the Valuan ships first. I don't want them interfering in the fight with Raknam. I need to kill Raknam myself. Battle stations, leave Ramirez's ship alone. Take out the two cruisers in front of us. Alright, so we've got to beat up some ships before we get to Raknam. Air pirate scum, you will regret the day that you stood against Lord Ramirez and the sick fleet of the Armada. I don't give a crap who you are. Oh, I don't really have enough stuff. It's annoying. not enough to fight a giant whale, you have to fight a bunch of ships too. It seems so. 
I mean, the smart thing to do would be to let them weaken the whale and you finish them off. But I guess Captain Drachma it's his orders. such attacks. Yep, fully healed again. 2100, only scratch him. Just a little. A big ship attacks small ship. <laughs> Evasive action. I'm not even attacking you, dude. G-type cannon there. The Harpoon cannon only costs 15 to use, so I'll definitely have enough for the next turn. Fire torpedoes! Fight. Damn it! I just healed too! Now fight defensively and maintain distance, fight aggressively, closing on the enemy. Well, see ya! That doesn't really matter what I do next turn, so I might as well. In the crazy off chance that it doesn't kill him. Throw Sacris there. G type cannon, as you know. Yeah. And. There. But the harpoon cannon should do it. Finish him off. That's it, launch your torpedoes. They're not even going to touch me. Harpoon cannon, fire! There we go. Harpoon is OP. All right. All right, we got a straight shot on Rachnam. I've waited for this for a long time. Harpoon cannon, fire! That'll learn you, you damn whale. Heh, <laughs> there's no escape for you now. Ah! Captain, watch out! There's an enemy ship off the starboard side. It's Ramirez! He got behind us while we were concentrating on Rachna. Oh shit. The Lil Jack is on fire! Propelling power dropped rapidly! We're losing altitude! This isn't good. If we keep this up, we're all gonna die. No! I've waited far too long. I may never get another chance. Captain, we've got to abandon ship. We need to get to the lifeboat below. What? Are you telling me to abandon the Little Jack? You're telling me to let Raknam go? Yes! If you die, you won't bring it won't bring back your son. 
And as long as you're alive, you'll always have another chance. Ugh. If you die now, then the lives of your crew and your son would have been lost in vain. Ah! All right, we're abandoning ship. Everyone, get down below. No, I don't want to look at the engines. Where's the door? There it is. Yeah, that backfired. <laughs> Captain, hurry, get on! The ship's going down! Captain! Captain, get on board! Look, Ragnam is hurt! Captain, what are you doing? No, don't! Get moving. Captain, hurry, get in! Why did he do that? Ramirez? He's firing at the lifeboats? Ah! Vice! No! I'm... I'm alive? It looks like I've been separated from Ica and Fina. I hope they're okay. Where am I? Ica, Fina and Drachma have left the party. 